Hi, my darlings. Today I'm going to tell you what cellulite is, how do we get rid of cellulite, what stands behind the cellulite formation, and how do we prevent cellulite from happening in the future. So stay tuned and let's dive into the subject immediately. First of all, it's important to understand what cellulite is. Now, here's a picture for you. On the left side, you have healthy skin and on the right side, skin with cellulite. The yellow tiny things on the picture are your fat cells. Now, the enlarged fat cells create the cellulite. All right, because enlarged fat cells are being surrounded by connective tissue and, and connective tissue becomes stretched out because of the enlarged fat cells. And that, my friends, creates those dimples in your skin. Uh, that basically what we call cellulite, okay? So what causes these fat cells to become enlarged fat cells? Let's take a closer look now. Of course, the first thing on my list is bad diet, all right, especially added sugars. So to get rid of cellulite, say no to all the products that have added sugars in them. Uh, say no to all the pastries, the white breads, the croissants, the muffins and whatnot, and all the candy and chocolates. You can still uh, eat some dried fruits, just make sure that in ingredients it doesn't have any added sugars like cane sugar even like coconut sugar any other type of sugar just the dried fruit be aware that some fruits have um, higher uh, glycemic index meaning that they have a little bit more sugars in, in them some have a lower glycemic index so go for those like berries for example that have less uh, sugar in them you need to follow this sugar-free diet for at least three months to actually see legit results. I mean, I could tell you that give it a try for 10 days or do the 30-day challenge or whatever, but uh, coming from the experience, I know that even if you're a skinny girl or what's called skinny fat, it's important for you to do this for at least three consecutive months. And once you do this for three months, you'll be like, oh my God, I have amazing results. And you'll get even more motivated to push yourself further don't worry about you know that you will miss the sugars or that you will feel left out at parties because it's not going to happen you're gonna feel amazing about yourself about your body about the fact that your satellite starts to go away however it's not just one uh, I mean the, the diet and the sugar is only one factor into our satellite battle there is way much more that goes into place as a side note if you have to have bread, go for the whole grain wheat bread. Try to drop the white bread completely for about three months. And once in a while, if you really have to have bread, choose the whole grain wheat breads. Also, it makes sense to stay away from high sodium foods because those cause your body to retain fluid that makes the cellulite more apparent. So things like uh, canned beans, canned soups, chips, uh, mayo, processed meats like salami and uh, ham and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and in general, if you cook using a lot of salt, try to reduce the amount of salt in your cooking. That could help a lot too. Retaining water works against hydration. It's the water turnover that helps your body to cleanse itself. So you need to make sure that you drink a lot of water every single day for at least three months. And when I say a lot of water, I mean at least one gallon of water per day. So that way your body actually flushes out all the toxins and gets rid of all the things that it doesn't need anymore, that have no value for it. And the last very simple recommendation about food would be to stay away from uh, like deep fried foods. So even if it's sweet potato, because I know a lot of girls who say things like, well, I don't eat fries, it just sometimes I, offer, uh, I order sweet potato fries at the restaurant. Well, sweet potato fries is fries, meaning that it is deep fried. So please, no deep fried foods in your diet for at least three months together with one gallon of water every day, together with no added sugars and no high sodium foods, all of this in combination will give you stunning results. Trust me because I am going through this right now and I know my craft, I apply the same principles to my clients and we all enjoy the benefits of being healthy and eating healthy. 
All right, so we are done with the first chapter, diet. Now let's talk about how can we increase the blood flow in your body because one of the reasons why you do have cellulite is because you have very bad blood flow and very bad fat oxidation in your body. That's why you actually have enlarged fat cells. It's not just the diet, it's also lack of exercise. So one of the best ways to increase fat oxidation and increase the blood flow in your body is to apply resistance training and cardio into your lifestyle, okay? When I first started training, I hit the gym four times a week. You could start with three times, okay? But make sure it's a resistance training. So either you go to the gym or you stay at home and um, maybe you can purchase some barbells, dumbbells, whatever. Make sure that you have proper workout routine. So you hit every single muscle group at least once per week. And then add two more days of cardio training. My favorite thing ever is elliptical and I get an elliptical once or twice per week and I do it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Once a week I do fasted cardio, meaning that I don't eat anything before my cardio workout. And the other day I do the cardio whenever I have a chance. As you have learned by now, the increased blood flow plays the key part in, in your anti-cellulite treatment. So exercise is one way to increase the blood flow to those problematic areas. And the other thing that you need to be doing is dry brushing or cupping with a silicone cup. Uh, dry brushing is a relatively new method for me. I just started doing it literally like seven days ago and I love it. It's amazing. I can see that my skin is becoming more uh, elastic right now. I'm going to be doing this for about 14 days and uh, th it has to be like 14 straight days. However, uh, I think that it's too much stress for your skin to do the dry brushing every single day for 14 days. Mm, I like to do this every other day. And uh, one day I will do the dry brushing and then the second day I will use my silicone cup for the cupping on my thighs since my cellulite uh, appears usually on my outer thigh and on my butt. The reason why dry brushing is so good for you is because it creates the hermetic stress to your skin. So it creates like these little tiny uh, rips and tears on your skin that force your body to boost collagen and elastin production. And that makes your skin more elastic and makes it look good. I'll show you specifically how I use the dry brush and the silicone cup on my own thighs in my next video next Monday because I just want to confuse you and to give you too much information at once. So let's plan on that. However, in this video, I'll show you how to use the foam roller to increase the blood flow to your problematic areas that have cellulite. Because before I started using the dry brush and the silicone cups, I would do foam rolling every single day. And that also worked like magic. So let's get down to the floor right now. I'll show you what foam roller I use and what is the difference between um, the most like popular types of foam rollers and which one you should purchase for yourself. I'm gonna sit on the foam roller and just roll one butt cheek at the time. Like I said, I do get some cellulite on my butt as well as on my thighs. So I need to roll both butt and thighs. And um, when it comes to picking your foam roller, uh, I personally prefer the solid surface one, the one right over here, because I feel like it gives me the best massaging and it goes like deep in my muscles and uh, I can feel the <laughs> increase in blood flow afterwards. However, there is another type of foam rollers and they have like spikes on them. So uh, the one that has spikes is better for like deeper massage. So let me show you what I'm trying to say. So if you have the solid one, basically you want to roll back and forth like that. Okay, and that gives you the biggest benefit by rolling back and forth because it's solid. If you get the one with the spikes, then you would have to place your leg on it, okay, and then place the other one on top and go side to side. So that one works better if you roll it side to side, not back and forth, because back and forth would be probably too much uh, pressure for you. So that's my personal favorite. Choose one for yourself. Okay, now. 
we're stretching the butt cheeks first, roll it out, okay, take your time. You could also do this, put leg on top of the leg, and then simply go side to side to go a little bit deeper in um, the fascia, and fascia is that fibrous tissue that surrounds your muscles uh, and your organs. Okay, so it's important to stretch out. So basically knots in your muscles are caused by um, like those interruptions in your fascia. Okay, then you're going to roll your um, hamstring and that's the area like back of your thigh. That's the area where most of us usually have cellulite. So you have to really take your time and get deep. And like I said, if you have the foam roller with spikes, you're going to press your leg and go side to side. If you want more pressure, you're going to put one leg on top of the other. So this way you have way much more pressure on that muscle. Good. So it's not only good for the, for the cellulite treatment, sorry, it's also very good for sore muscles. And when you start training, you might have some kind of tears in your muscles so that helps the healing process. And then you repeat the same thing on the other leg. You slightly uh, turn your leg inward, your foot inward. So you stretch the inner thigh as well. You roll it out and then the outer thigh. And that's gonna be it, my friends. Foam rolling really does help with that. So try it, let me know in comments below how you're doing. And uh, next week I'm going to share with you the dry brushing and the copying uh, strategy for the treatment of cellulite. And uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button below and uh, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.